Hello, my beautiful MK Love fam, and welcome back to another weekly angel guidance. And if this is your first time joining us, my name is Mel, and I make videos every single Monday helping you to deal with the energies associated with the week ahead. This week, it is the 10th to the 16th of December, and we have a general reading for you going through three phases of the moon and I cannot wait to get into this week. All right, so today it's just a general reading and let's get into it. So on Monday, we are still in the new moon in Sagittarius energy. That actually happened on December 6th or December 7th, depending on where you are in the world. Then from Tuesday to Friday, we move into the crescent moon. This is when we refine our intentions and allow the universe to guide you to exactly where you need to be. Then on Saturday and Sunday, we move into the first quarter of the moon. That is the action phase of the moon. This is where you take inspired action and allow it to flow with ease. Let's see what we need to know for Monday. So let me just bring that back. Angels, what do we need to know for the new moon in, wow. There's a lot. Let's try that again. One card for the new, it seems to be very heavy. There's like a lot to know. What do we need to know for Monday? Can we have one card please? One card for my MK Love fam. There we go. Oh, okay. We've got the seven of wands. Now I'm trying something new for this um, new moon is putting the, the cards on the screen. So you should be able to see the seven of wands right now. This is interesting because we had this last week as well. This is all about protecting what you desire. This is either protecting your family. This is protecting something that you're working on, protecting your heart. This is all about protection and fighting for and being like assertive, but not being like, domineering or aggressive. It's like standing your ground. Um, and I think last week, cause we were talking about the song, um, I'm not ready to make nice from the Dixie chicks. So I feel like this energy is still flowing in, which is perfect because we're still in this new moon phase. So it's like, okay, what, what do you need to protect? Like, what do you want so bad? What are you not allowing anybody else to like come in and mess things up for you. Like, what are you holding so deeply close to your chest? And what are you fighting for? Um, what's that song? Uh, uh, fight song. This is my fight song. Take back my life song. Prove I'm a right song. Fight song. That's what this card reminds me of. This is your fight song. Take back your life. Prove that you're all right, song. Ooh, that's a really good song. That was actually in one of my playlists when I went to Hawaii and I listened to it every single day on the beach. I'm like, yeah, I'm taking back my life. I'm proving that I'm all right. Ah, that's amazing. Okay, so that's Monday's energy. So Tuesday, we're going to move into the crescent moon. So let's see what we need to know for Tuesday. There was a lot of cards, but the, whoa, the first card that I saw is the lover's card. Ooh, okay. Interesting. So you're refining things. So this is about love. This could be love for yourself, love for somebody around you. This could be romantic, platonic. Have a look at the snake with the apple. It's like, do you go for, you know, this love? It's like, is it going to be tainted by negative thoughts or is it going to be nurtured and blossomed? Um, with beautiful high vibrational thoughts. Have a look at the top. You can see these two um, doves with a crown. I feel like this is like changing status. Relationships changing to the next status. I don't know why I just thought of that, but I did. <sighs> and then I heard, um, bloom and grow, bloom and grow forever. Edelweiss. That's not right. Edelweiss. Every moment you dab do and grow, bloom and grow forever. If anyone can remember the lyrics to Edelweiss, let me know. <laughs> 
I just feel it's like blooming and growing. So it's like Monday, you're protecting what you want. And Tuesday, it's like, letting this bloom and grow to what does this love mean? Is this this love within yourself, that self-love muscle that you've been flexing for ages, but now you actually feel it? Like, I remember when I got to the point where I felt like I looked in the mirror and I was like, I freaking love you, Mel. Like, I love you so much. And to get to that stage is truly beautiful. Or this could be like romantic love. Ooh. Or this could just be loving what you do. That's a, that's a major arcana. That's a massive shift in events. All right, let's see what we need to know for Wednesday, please, angels. We're in the crescent moon, refining what we want. One card, please. Okay. Ooh, okay, now we have the Ace of Wands. Okay, so this is a new beginning, which is interesting because it's like Monday we're protecting, Tuesday we're feeling this love, this love for ourselves this love for somebody else. There's a deep love that is here. And as we're going into that, I feel like this is a lot to do with like, because the ones is like your passion projects. It's like, <laughs> ain't nothing gonna break my strad. Ain't nothing gonna slow me down. Oh no, I got to keep on moving. That's crazy because that song is so old. Um, Ace of Wands. So this is like a new beginning you know how we've been saying for like so long, it's like, oh, you've been working on this, you know, you know, you, it's, but it's, I just feel like we've been planting all of these seeds and maybe some of you are actually like, holy shit, I've just taken this to the next level and I am literally seeing this in the physical manifestation. This is like, it's like, maybe the, the Monday card was like protecting what you want and not allowing other people's judgments to like, infiltrate into your subconscious and you're like, no, I'm raising my vibration. I'm meditating before I wake up. I'm programming my mind for success throughout the day. I'm doing my self-love practices. Literally anything that makes me feel amazing, I'm going to do it because I'm a priority and I'm so happy and grateful now that I'm making myself a priority because I deserve it. I deserve to feel worthy. And then Tuesday, it's like, yeah, it's like, I'm the queen of the night. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Don't make no difference if I'm wrong or right. And then it's like, it's just like you're just going for it. I just feel like guns are blazing and it's like, you know, this is my time to shine. I'm finishing off what I started because I'm preparing myself for 2019. And it's like, if you fail, um, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. And I just feel like you guys are like not allowing yourself to get in that situation. And I feel like you're really prepping yourself for next year. Wow. Okay. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, still in the crescent moon. What do we need to know? Oh, I feel like I need to shuffle this one a bit. Oh, the energy felt different. Oh, okay. We got the four of swords. So this is like taking a break, which is interesting because it's like, I feel like if when you start something new, you know, the overwhelm comes in, you feel like, oh, I don't know, can I do it? Like, can I really do it? And like, you know, deep within your soul that you can do it. It's like, you just kind of forget sometimes and you forget because people around you may be going like, you know, you've been doing this for years and it hasn't manifested. And I was like, oh, wait till they see me smile. Wait till they see me shine. When the wind is blowing in your face. Da, 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 da. Don't let emotions go. People always speculate. See, they say things they don't know. Yeah, I feel like this is like just taking a break because not as in like taking the day off. I feel like you need to find time within your day. Like I feel like you need to structure in time where you can just breathe. And this is like, she's kind of like in the coffin position. And it's like, I'm just taking, you know, there's all these lotuses like blooming around her. She's got her swords ready, but she knows that like, she just needs to take a little break. So if that means like taking a 20 minute power nap, do it. If that means sleeping in for five minutes, do it. If that means like having a bath to help your body unwind from the day, then do it because that's what your angels are telling you to do on Thursday. It's like, yeah, when you start things new, you can be like, ah, I don't know if I can do it, but it's like, okay, just breathe. 
because it's like if it's like working smarter not harder so you need to factor that into your day all right so that's Thursday let's see what we need to know for Friday Friday is still in the crescent moon we're still refining what we need to do I feel like for Thursday it's like in terms of refining it's like if things aren't going the way you need to go then you just need to step away take a break however that looks okay uh Friday what do we need to know for Friday angels one card for my MK love fam please jeez there was a lot that came, but one was more dominant than the other. Holy flippin' heck. <laughs> it's the king of swords. Oh my God. How can you go from the ace of wands to the king of swords? It's like you, okay. So this is like celebrating how far you have come. So it's like you've gone from the four of swords to the king of swords. So the swords is like represents like challenges and obstacles. It's like you've overcome it. You have found a way to like structure your day to find, you know, this rest. And things are going really, really well for you. I feel like this week you really need to, I just feel like you really need to program your mind for success, especially on Monday, because you know, you need to protect what you have so hard work for. Because so, you know, if you, you know, you've invested your heart and soul and that there's just one comment that comes in and you're like, oh my God, can I do this? And it's like, are you freaking kidding me? Do you know how amazing you are? And it's like the King of Swords is like, you have been through hell and you've pulled yourself back out of the trenches. What's that song from Kelly Clarkson, Second Wind? Um, second Wind, how does Second Wind go? It's a very good song. I love Kelly Clarkson. Um, one moment, please, guys. Okay, let me just play it for myself and I'll come back because I can't play it due to copyright. One moment. Yeah, so it's like you're catching your second wind. People have doubted you like no tomorrow. But you know, you're at the point now where it's like you're going to catch your second wind because it's like when people were saying, oh yeah, you're never going to amount to nothing and you know, you're going to be stuck in this dead end job or stuck with this crazy person. You know, it's like little do you know what I have n neglected to tell you is that behind the scenes, when I've been getting home from work, I have been working my butt off to get this business to prepare this dance routine, this poem, I don't know, whatever you're working on, whatever sets your soul in, on fire, you have been working hard and it's like you're not allowing negativity to, you know, to stop you from where you're going to go. It's like you've got your second wind. I like it's um, the part where it's like, you can hate me, underestimate me, do what you want to do because you're something, I don't know. Anyway, it's a very good song. Listen to Kelly Clarkson. All right, what do we need to know for Saturday? That was pretty quick. So the first quarter, oh my goodness, we have the Queen of Wands. She is beautiful. She is in Mother Nature. She is like, she's just vibrating on the frequency of love, allowing, she's just, She's just doing what makes her feel amazing. And she's just, she's just true to herself. She's literally true to herself and she's not compromising the, what she needs to do based on other people's opinions. And she's just allowing her heart to just, oh, my heart chakra has some pain. So it's like, she's just, uh, why do I have pain in my chest? This is a really nice card. This is like doing things that makes you feel good. She's using what she has around her to make do. You know, you don't have to have the best of everything to do what you need to do. You just need to have, you know, like when I first started on YouTube, I was filming on my on my iPhone. No, I started filming on my iPad and then I progressed up to an iPhone 4, you know, and then iPhone 5 and then I finally got a camera. And it's like you need to use what you have around you. Interesting, I've never thought of this before. You need to use what you have around you to make the best of what you've got. You know, you don't need to spend $1,500 on a camera to make YouTube videos. You know, you don't need to invest in this crazy template for your website. You know, use a free one until you have the money to invest to, you know, 
hire a designer or to buy that template that you wanted. You know, I just feel like using what is around you and you're just, you're making the best of what you've got and you are just setting your soul on fire. And this is like amazing, amazing energy. So that's for Saturday. So this is like, you're really taking action with that one, which is interesting because she's just like doing the things she loves and it, it and she's doing it with such ease because the affirmation for that one is I take inspired action and allow it to flow with ease. And that is exactly what you're doing. You're taking inspired action. It feels good. Like have a look at the screen right now on the emotional guidance scale. What level of the emotional guidance scale are you at? Are you suicidal? Are you at depression with fear, grief, feeling powerlessness? Or are you vibrating on the frequency of love where you feel happy, you feel gratitude, you feel empowered? Where are you at? Whatever level of the emotional guidance scale that you are at, Say thank you, thank you, thank you, and what do I need to do to move forward? What do you do when you're in depression? Go outside, literally take yourself outside and use the sun to charge your solar plexus, which is your will power. And it will also ground your energy into the ground, which will basically connect your root chakra and your solar plexus. And it will also stimulate the sacral chakra, which is your pleasure center as well. So. It's like you just really need to go outside. I don't know where that came from, but I just thought I needed to tell you. <laughs> All right, Sunday. What do we need to know for Sunday? This is a really, this is such a beautiful week. But I don't know why Saturday I felt pain in the chest. Ooh, okay. Then on Saturday we have the eight of wands. So this is like, every time I see this card, I can never remember what these things are. Dandelions, when you blow it and you make a wish, it's like, uh, but there's no star here. I just feel like this is just like you, like truly just like, uh, oh, it could be like, uh, then I heard like speak into existence what you want. So that's like using the law of attraction because um, your words have powerful vibrations. It's like you have to fake it till you make it. You know, it's like acting as if, I've made videos all about this in um, my Law of Attraction playlist series two, where I talk about, you know, the power of words um, and the power of repetition. Um, this is like speaking into existence. It reminds me of um, Ariel. Ah, 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 da, da, da. It's like speaking, I just feel like, Speaking words of wisdom, let it be, let it be, let it be, oh, let it be. Speaking words of wisdom, let it be. I feel like, I just feel like this is speaking aloud what you want. So this could be speaking in terms of like journaling, writing a day in your dream, dream life journal. Like, yes. So you're taking inspired action. You're speaking about what makes you feel good. Maybe this is like you're speaking with clients. This could be speaking with family members, um, a loved one. I feel like this is all, this is you literally affirming to the universe exactly what you want. You're taking the inspired action. You're not just all talk and no action. You're all action on Sunday and you're speaking it into existence because you're literally flipping doing it. Oh my gosh, my loves. This is such an exciting week. Let's find out what the focus card is for the week. That came out very quickly. I'm just going to go with it. Oh my God. It's the two of cups. This is like partnership. This is like balance energy. This is like an interconnectedness of divine masculine and divine feminine. This is like you're experiencing these new emotions. <laughs> Every time I say emotions when I film, it's like, it's just emotions taking me over. It's like, you're so grateful. I just feel like everything is interconnected. If you're truly taking care of yourself, you're nurturing your relationships. You know, you're nurturing your family relationships. You're nurturing that relationship with yourself. Everything is in your life is going to be amazing. It's like, whenever I have a blockage in my life, it's like, okay, what can I do to rectify the situation? What is in my control? And I work my magic and sometimes 
the outcome isn't always desired, but it's like, have you taken inspired action? Yes, if you have done literally everything within your power, then that's all you can do. You can't do any more. And I feel like this is just like, you're flowing through this new energy that you're experiencing because you're going through this new chapter. I feel like a lot of you are seeing like um, the physical manifestations of what you have been like planning, like where you've been planting the seeds for ages and you've been talking to your plant and going, I love you so much, I love you. Um, this plant back here, I've called this plant Lucid. I was like, good morning, Lucid, how are you? I love you. And I was like cleaning the leaves the other day and going, I love you, I love you, I love you. Cause you know, our words have vibrations like we spoke about here with the eight of wands. So I feel like this is all about this is about this new balance of energies. This is just like being free. This is, I just, how do I explain this one? It's like partnerships, but I feel like this is like, I feel like you're being supported either from, you know, your angels, if you're in tune with that realm, or if this is like people around you, but I feel like, you're getting help and you're feeling your way through this new chapter. Your emotions are just more grounded and rooted and it's more like you're just, I just feel like you're just free. Yeah. I just feel like it's like the balance. As if like the balance has been restored. However that's looking for you. So that's the overall card for the week. I feel like I want one more though. I feel like I may have missed something and my throat chakra feels funny, so I feel like I have missed something. What do we need to know? What's the overall theme, angels, for the 10th to the 16th of December for my MK Love fam? One card. <laughs> Thanks. Ooh. That's why I'm having trouble with my throat because we got the devil. So the devil is basically to me like the fear card. Have a look down the bottom where it's like, it's like, I feel like fear is going to come up as you go through this new chapter. I feel like, especially on Monday, it's going to scare the bejeebus out of you, but you're like, you're conquering it. And it's just like knowing that fear is there. And I always use that analogy from Louis, um, not Louise, hey, Elizabeth Gilbert from, she wrote the book eat, pray, love. And she also wrote Big Magic. Any spiritual entrepreneurs out there, you need to read that. It is amazing. Another fabulous book too, if you're starting a new business, is She Means Business by Carrie Green. Oh my God, I read that last year before I launched private spiritual readings. It gives you like that, um, this empowerment to move forward. And it's like, why are you doing this? It like solidifies the why. And it really makes you take into account. It's like, this is bigger than what I am doing. I'm doing this because, you know, for me launching coaching, it's not because it makes me feel good. That is one part of it. But I know that I have learned so much and I have so much to give. And I don't want people to suffer in silence. I don't want people to, you know, repeat cycles of childhood abuse onto their children. And then when they raise their children, they're recovering from their childhoods. It's like, I'm creating an empire where I can help adults raise conscious children who do not need to recover from their childhood as adults, you know, a world free of childhood trauma, which would allow, like, think about it. I've spent like 10 years working my way through my childhood trauma, like literally a whole decade. Imagine if I use that time to like empower myself and to like build my business earlier or, you know, work on something else. Like I'm so happy and grateful that I went through that because it's made me who I am today. But it's like, really, I just feel like this card is all about solidifying your why. Why are you doing what you're doing? Like literally, why? And I feel like the moment that you work that out and you feel like this this partnership, this connectedness, this a new emotion of where you're going, it's going to help you stay on track and not be deterred by any flashy things or any criticism or negativity. So if you get to the bottom of the emotional guidance scale, that is okay. You just need to put the structures and supports in place. 
so you feel this like this balance of energy and know that everything that is happening for you this week is divinely orchestrated it is preparing you for what you have asked for yeah and when you start things new they're freaking scary oh my god they are so scary but you have to think about your purpose and what's your why because it has to be bigger enough for you to literally take inspired action because if it's not you're not going to change and you're gonna be the same person that you are in a year from now. But wouldn't you rather be someone completely different who's like thriving, who's like killing it at life and who is surrounded by beautiful, high vibrational, conscious relationships with people who are constantly working on themselves like day in and day night. Like, wouldn't you rather be surrounded by beautiful people like that? And it is possible. It is absolutely possible. I'm living proof that you can literally break the cycle of abuse and you can follow your, your dreams and you can turn your pain into greatness and use that to help other people. Literally, there's nothing that can stop you. Nothing. You need to have a big enough why to propel you forward. And that's the direction that you're headed as we move into this new moon in Sagittarius energy. And I think this is truly beautiful. I think this is a truly beautiful time and I feel like you should be so proud of yourself, especially for Friday when we go into the King of Swords. Like you have been through so much conflict and you have come out of the, the other side of it stronger. You know, this year has all been like, we've had the Mars retrograde, which was, rules anger and frustration and you know, some volatile outbursts. And then we've had Venus retrograde, which rules our relationships. So we've had some crazy times, but now your angels are saying that you have come out of the other side and you should be so happy and so grateful, you know, because you are stronger. You have learned something along the way that has made you a better person. Maybe you've had to say goodbye to some people, that is okay. If they are meant to be in your life, they will always be there. There will be some divine intervention that will bring them back to you. And if they aren't, then you just say, thank you so much. And I'm so grateful and happy for our time together. But right now I need to say goodbye to you because I need to put myself forward. So think about that. I really hope that this helps you for the week ahead, my loves. What the heck is going on? I'm house sitting at the moment. I think the dog wants to go outside. So I've got to wrap this up. Anyways, my love, I truly hope that this helps you prepare for the week ahead. It's a really beautiful week. You just need to be very mindful of your self-love practices and know to, you know, take time out to rest and to breathe and to speak into existence exactly what you want. Um, because yeah, you're totally on the right track. Thank you so much for watching to the end. Oh my gosh, you have literally given up 30 minutes of your day to hear me chat and tell you what to expect for the week. And I'm so happy and grateful that you keep coming back every single week and you like my videos and you subscribe to my channel, you turn on the notification, you share my videos with other people that need some help and guidance as well. Um, because I see all of the shares that come up in my Google Analytics. So thank you so much. Anyways, I love you so much and I will see you next Monday. I love you, I love you, I love you. Goodbye.